Welcome to a new feature that I'm doing on Island by Film. I call it Thrift Find Thursdays. So this new series that I'm doing, Thrift Find Thursdays, is really just to highlight some of the cool thrift finds that I've found in and around the city of Nanaimo. Always, of course, analog related. And uh, I like to call it a semi-regular uh, video that I'm going to be posting up. Not necessarily a weekly video, but on a week like this week when I have a ton going on, both in my personal life and at work, uh, it's tough for me to get out during daylight hours now that we're heading into winter and uh, shoot and uh, um, develop and scan uh, a roll of film along with producing a video along with this. So um, I hope you enjoy this episode. Uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit about a find I found called the Minolta Mini 35. This is a very, very neat little uh, device. I saw it on the thrift store shelf yesterday as a matter of fact, and I didn't know what it was at first. It looked like a miniature projector, but at the same time, I didn't see a carousel. I didn't see a way that you could actually put a slide in there at all. I saw a slide holder, which I have, which is great, uh, but I didn't see really anything at all until I started playing around with it and I noticed that it slides open like this. And it's quite ingenious actually. I think at the time probably people who had smaller homes, maybe not a large enough space to uh, put a larger projector to uh, project their slides, they didn't have the space. And so this kind of also was maybe a travel companion for some people um, when they were going to, uh, to visit family and wanted to show vacation photos and so forth. Uh, but one of the really cool things I like about this that really caught my eye it is a Chioko branded lens, which I've never owned a Chioko product, but every time I listen to the Classic Lenses podcast, I hear that name over and over and over again, Chioko this, Chioko that. Obviously the glass m must be good because they talk about it often. And so it's a um, Chioko 2.5, uh, looks like Chioko Rokor 2.5. So it must have been... I would suppose a little bit of a um, a partnership between Minolta and Chioko. So anyway, I love this little red symbol on here. I love how it says Minolta right there, and then right here says Mini. It's super retro looking. It's beefy. This thing weighs almost a kilogram, which is great. But in terms of a projector, that's light, incredibly light. I've never owned a projector before, and I plugged this one into the store and at the thrift shop and. The light bulb came on right away and started projecting quite brightly. So I'm looking forward to putting my first couple of slides in here. I'm going to show you how it looks on the wall and, um, and we'll um, use the focus mechanism right here to get a sharp image on the wall. But I love the way this opens up. It's really, really unique. So um, yeah, so let's take a little bit of a closer look. The Minolta Mini Projector is Quite a unique uh, piece of kit. It's got a beautiful lens on the front. Love the retro labeling here and on along the side here. And the red Chioko label. I don't know. I just really love the look of it. it says Minolta on this side as well. That's a good close look at the glass right there. But what really struck me was the mechanism and how you open this up. Now there's two little buttons here on either side. And it slides open just like that. And then it sits flush right on whatever surface you're going to be projecting with. And what's really neat is this simple little slide holder. So that slide holder just goes back and forth, allows you to, um, to put two slides in. And it sits right in front of the lenses and the light source here. Uh, you'll see two little notches right here. You can actually just slide it right over top, nice and gently and you can slide this back and forth. So very, very simple to use. So when you're ready to uh, put a couple more slides in, you take it out. In fact, what they did say when I did some reading online is that you can actually pull a slide out and just replace it. So as you're showing, you can kind of go back and forth. And if you were kind of showing, um, kind of showing uh, some family memories, you could quickly do that back and forth as you were showing pictures. Maybe give you a little bit of a delay of maybe you know, five seconds or so as you went through. So it's a great way to view slides. I haven't even turned this thing on yet. I know that the light works. 
So I shouldn't say I haven't turned it on, but I haven't projected anything out of it. I'm excited to uh, kind of show you what it looks like. The slides I have here are actually quite special. These slides are actually of my my dad. Um, if you can see here, I'm gonna see if I can show you what it looks like projected on the wall. But one of the things that I absolutely love, these slides themselves were done of my dad um, in the 70s before I was born. He used to perform. And uh, one of the things um, he did was create some promotional photographs. He had a professional photographer hired and did those promotional photos and uh, these were the results of it. So I'm gonna get this thing fired up and I'm gonna show you uh, exactly what it looks like uh, projected on the wall and see if we can't get it all focused up. expensive, lightweight, compact solution that you can tuck away in a drawer as an intro uh, to projecting your slides on the wall. Actually, I think this is a really cool option. One of the things you got to watch out though for is it gets incredibly hot. I did a little bit of reading online and I noticed that there were cooling um, accessories available or a cooling accessory available. Mine didn't come, up, come with that one. so. I don't think I would leave it for long periods of time without cooling it off with either a fan or, or just shutting it off in between. Even right now, it's a little bit warm to the touch. It's old technology, but incredibly beautiful and really nicely designed. So once again, thanks for joining me on Thrift Find Thursday.